Hello and welcome to Call the Week Card Talk. I'm Brabnar89. I'm Shaka. Today we will be looking at an action called Safe or Sorry. It is uncommon and it reads play, choose one. Archive any number of friendly creatures from play or choose a creature. Deal one damage to it for each amber your opponent has. Again, loving the design space of these choose cards. Sometimes you're going to have a turn where your opponent doesn't have any amber in their pool. And so the choose a creature and deal one damage for each amber your opponent has would be useless. And sometimes you're going to not have any friendly creatures in play that you're going to want to archive. So that one would be useless. So having the option here just gives this card so much more value in your deck to address various different situations. The second option is kind of more obviously valuable here. You're going to be able to take out some specific threats that might be taunted or elusive that could just be really difficult to deal with. If your opponent's got a bunch of amber, there are bigger threats that you could take care of. So just really nice targeted spot removal that might even be able to take out some really big creatures on your opponent's side. Yeah, I think this card has some pretty good applications. Of course, for the first effect, you can archive creatures with good play effects and play them again. Or maybe you have um, any 4x4 and you archive some creatures that you don't want to see again in your cycle. Oh, yeah, that's right. Could be pretty useful. Yeah, just keep driving that key cost up for your opponent. There's also a couple of really great play effects in shadows in this set not a ton but you do have the sea urchin which is essentially an urchin but it captures one normally but if the tide is high you get to steal one instead so play your safe or sorry put it away in your archive for later and get that steal effect again on your following turn so that's pretty great we also have Freebooter Fay, which has a play effect that will raise the tide for you. So that could be a really good way to continue to raise the tide without having to take those chains. Right. Another thing I thought of, if you archive creatures with captured amber, you can then steal it with Hobnobber. That's true. That could be a way to boost your opponent's amber count so that you can make those cards that require a high amber count on your opponent's side active that's great yeah imagine if too much protect were reprinted you vacuum up all your saurians and then tmtp definitely that could just be awesome because there is quite a bit of capture uh, it seems in dark tidings all right well this has been our look at safe or sorry check back tomorrow for a look at another card